everybody out there, my name is Chris Nicholson. Me, myself, I'm a honky-tonk ragtime pianist, but also I'm a music arranger. So one of the keyboards that I actually choose to do the music arranging is the Yamaha Genos. Now let me get this straight with everybody so everybody's a little bit clear with me. I do not work for any companies. I do not work for Yamaha, Casio, Korg, Roland. I do not work for any of those companies or any of the companies that I didn't mention. Me, myself, I'm a keyboard collector and also I love to put keyboards like this to the fullest strength to see what it can do. Now the real reason that I choose the Yamaha Genos because I want it a keyboard workstation that is just basically full of performance. I'm at the top, top, top of the line. And um, basically I was using a Yamaha PSR S950 before the Genos. So the Genos actually put me to the test instead of me putting it to the test. Now this video is for everybody out there who basically has heard about the new Yamaha PSR series, which is the SX line. There's the SX300, there's SX700, and also the SX900. But um, they want to know basically what is that compared to the Genos. I'm sorry to disappoint you, I have not played any of those models. In this video, I'm gonna go full throttle and also I'm gonna show you the full potential of the Yamaha Genos and why did I choose the Yamaha Genos. I'm also gonna lay out some things about the Yamaha PSR SX line that does not have inside that the Genos does have. So everybody, sit back, enjoy the tour. This is gonna be a long ride because I'm gonna go full throttle with my Yamaha Genos. Enjoy. Hey everybody out there, welcome. And as you can see right over here, this is my beautiful Yamaha Genos. Now, the question, why did I pick the Yamaha Genos? Well, number one is that I was playing a Yamaha S950 and it had 61 keys that, the keys, they didn't feel right. And one thing about taking apart Yamaha keyboards, especially the PSR series keyboards, is that the keys are sharing other keys. So they come in like little sections. On the PSR, I'm sorry, on the Genos, each key is additional, and they feel a lot better than the PSR S9 series, um, or I don't even know how the PSR SX series is gonna be because I heard that it's gonna be a new updated keyboard. So, this particular one, which is the Genos, it comes with the CFX Conta Grand. You have actually two grand pianos and one awesome upright which I'm gonna show you right now. So this over here, this is the CFX Conta Grand. Nice, nice, nice. That's one of the best piano sounds that I've ever heard come out of any arranger keyboard. Um, so, as you can see, I pulled up the menu. You have different other kinds of CFXs on here. But also, if you go to page two, you have another grand piano, which is, um, which is the most recorded piano, studio grand piano world. This is the Yamaha C7, which also sounds like this. more of a characteristic so if I wanted to play boogie woogie or rock and roll I can actually do that <laughs> has that oomph to it um, and now on page three you have an upright now of course Yamaha doesn't sample from anything but their own pianos um, of course they bought Busendorfer but you don't have a Busendorfer on here. But you do have a Yamaha upright, which I am suggesting the most recorded upright in the whole entire world is the Yamaha U1. And this. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Now, you have a lot of sounds on here, and plus you can also put in your own sounds on here, which is really cool, but I'll get to that a little bit later. So, let me show you another category on here, which is also, like, say, for instance, the, um, the electric piano. This over here, this is a suitcase um, clean. This is a 70 ro 70s suitcase roads. And over here in the knob category, um, you have some characteristics. So say for instance, um, this is what I know you don't have in a PSR SR, SX series. So here is a, um, here's a suitcase roads. Watch this, watch this. Turn the knob over here. And that's that old action. And you're getting the action sound coming from it. So you can, if you wanted to make it sound just a little bit more. actually do that. Um, so you have a whole suitcase roads area. You have the Yamaha DX7 um, and the TX. Uh, by the way, all of this resets. This is another area that you do not have on the Yamaha PSR SX range of, of keyboards. Sorry about that if you plan planning to buy Yamaha SX. But um, this comes in handy. This comes in real handy. Just like on the Tyros um, series, the when they had the uh, sliders and knobs and everything like that. But this over here, this is the DX. And that's, that's called DX production. Check this out. You also have the TX. The TX series is their module, and um, really good. Beautiful. You have tons and tons of the DX line in here. Plus, you have to have some DX7 bases on here, which is really cool. Um, okay, and also on the third page, you have the Vintage EP, which is actually their Wurlitzer. And also you have their Clave. So I'm going to show you the Wurlitzers, um, the CP80s, and the Clave. So the Wurlitzer, beautiful. It doesn't get as real as that. I mean, it's, it's so real. And I just sold two uh, Wurlitzer Digital, I mean, sorry, electric pianos. The 200A and the 270 Grand. I just sold them and they were both in mint condition. Um, so on the Wurlitzer, you get that same key action. Now a lot of people's gonna ask, what are these other knobs here? So put that back. This is your arpeggiation right over here. And, it, and it's all labeled right over here. So over here, this is your, your high EQ. This is your low EQ. So you have your own EQs on there um, as much as you want. You have different pages right over here too. Um, once you go to page three on here, it's basically telling you about the styles, which we'll get to later. And page one, um, is basically you can edit on the fly and then save it. So here's your residence. Your octave. You have an octave button over here too. Um, and also your release. Your reverb. chorus. Sweet, right? Okay, 
So this is what I've been reading about the uh, SX series is that it does not have super articulation to voices, but it does have the Kino strings. So let me show you guys what the Kino strings do. They're the most realistic. They're the best samples that I've ever heard of strings. And here's an example of one. They are just so realistic. Um, I couldn't find those strings in any other workstation. Um, here's another example over here. This is called Kino Strings Natural. Is sick. Um, you also have, like, say, for instance, with the Kino strings, you have um, the Kino violins section over here. It says Kino uh, strings uh, violin, which is cool. <laughs> and here's another Kino string violin, which is also really neat. Kino string basses. Wow. Kino strings cello. Awesome. Okay. So you have super articulation of voices. So say for instance the orchestra cello, which is uh nice, nice cello. But if we were to have that in a super articulation too. So that same classical cello, uh, super articulation two, you have different other nuances. So I'm gonna play uh, the same thing. So that's super articulation too. The SX series does not have these buttons, which I thought they did. And that's sad because, you know, I was planning on those buttons, which is really cool for the SX series. So I don't have to take my Genos around everywhere, but they don't have it. So, but check this out. Um, the violin. Watch this. If I play an octave. It actually glisses up. If I do it down, so I press the first super articulation button, and I get a sweep up. Now, if I hold down the key, press the button, and let go, I get a sweep down. Same thing with number two. And number three is a pizzicato. Nice. Okay, so now we're on a different subject right over here. We're going to talk about the Revo drums. Now, a lot of people say, like, okay, 
Revo Drums is cool. It must be really nice. But what is Revo Drums? Revo Drums is basically, it's a four sample cycle loop that you get of different drum sounds on here. I don't know if it's on all the keys. I haven't read the specs on this particular Genos yet, but it's on a number of sounds. So say for instance, like the snare drum, it's going to be a four cycle sample, which is going to be the toms. So I'm pressing it normally. Uh, let's see the cymbals. Which is really neat. So if I'm playing just a regular drum beat. sounds like a real drummer. One of my favorite kits that I love to play is the vintage open kit. Now you have one open and you have one mute. So I'm going to show the both difference. If I'm playing like something like uh, something 60s or even my uh, my ragtime stuff, I could go. Beautiful sounds. Uh, you do have new drum sounds like new timbales, new go go bells. You have um, many different sounds and articulations. Which is awesome, which is really cool. Okay, so here is the mute one. Nice, nice, nice. Um, you also have this one right here, which is really cool. This is called the brush, uh, the jazz brush expanded. And this is off, also Revo. So I'm pressing it. different other sounds all the way nice now watch this the claps even have it it's a, it's it's different That's really cool. Um, you also have new percussion kits. Like, say, for instance, you have the Afro kit, which I'm going to play a demo. You have the Brazilian kit. And you have the pop percussion kit, which is also Revo drums, too. So you have all, all those pretty cool sounds throughout each and every key. So it's endless, very, very endless. This is right over here. This is called the vocal beatbox. And I know you guys have it because I looked at the stylus 
Um, I know the, or it's not you guys, but I know that the SX Sirius has it. Now, get ready. <laughs> so yes, you do have, you do have the um, vocal beatbox, um, and also that's on every key too. Now get ready. The little repeat pop. And <laughs> I mean that's that's awesome. Uh, that is not Revo drums though. Uh, what else do you have on Revo drums? Um, oh, you also got the EDM set. That is sick. recognize a lot of the sounds off of the uh, the Yamaha montage. Nice. Uh, oh, and this one over here, this over here, this is called the 80s pop set. That's not Revo Drums either. This is the 80s R&B. So it sounds like the Lindrums. All those synthesized drums. You have the dubstep, which is really cool. Those toms. Nice. So yeah, I recognize a lot of stuff off of like the motif and the um the montage series, which is good. You have a lot of stuff here. You also have the regular classic uh, drum kits, just like on the PSR series, um, which is really cool. Um, one thing also you have that I that I know of, of the new SX series, I think you have the gospel ad lib set, which is, uh... Come on! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hey! Ooh, yeah. All right! Now. Three, four! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Clap! Which is neat. Uh, and also this is called the vocal effects kit. <sighs> is really just sick so you do have all of those kits and um you have five pages of drum kits right over here so um basically uh you know because it's it, it goes in a group of 10 and stuff like that so that's 49 drum kits right there um not including say for instance if i was going to go over to um the legacy series the legacy series itself uh, which is a whole new bank, you have another, um, I say this is another, like, 14 drum kits right here. But uh, some of these are sound effects. So say, for instance, um, if you wanted the seashore. That's a sound effect. And also right over here, a new helicopter. The applause sound. The gunshot. It sounds like a bullet ricocheting, you know. So that's all of the drums that you get, plus the Revo drums and, you know, um, which, as I said, you're just missing that four 
um, that that four cycle sample loop that that you're getting. And I'll show you that in another instrument. Okay, everybody. I'm in the guitar category, and I want to show you some of the uh, concert guitars that I absolutely love. So see, for instance, this is right over here. You also got some body tapping right there. There they have a really awesome ukulele. This is my favorite. This is the regular ukulele. I'm going to show you. And this one over here, if I it's called ukulele strum. If I play everything at the four uh, at same velocity, four four different times. It's that four sample cycle, which is really cool. So. Beautiful. Beautiful. I never heard, heard a ukulele sound like that. It goes really well in my, um, in my Hawaiian stuff, which I absolutely love to do. Um, I was very skeptical about the um, the 12 string guitar. This one's called 12 string guitar strum. So, and it has that same, and I'm, I'm playing that all in one velocity. So um, let's try this. Very awesome. Very cool. I guess the ones with strums, and also you hear that fret noise at the end. Um, the ones with strums has that four, sec four cycle loop, which is really cool. Um, there's another guitar sound over here, which is awesome, which is called the um, resonated guitar. So if I play it regularly, you get that scraping of the strings. That is sick, sick, sick. Not only you get acoustic guitars, but you also have the um, you have the um, electric guitars right here. Um, so this one over here, this is called a Sixty Shadows lead. <laughs> one guitar sound that I liked in here. Um, I think it's called a 50 vin Vintage Blues. Now, I think you can do this on the, on the, on the Genos, which is basically if I go into the voice mode and I have that... You can actually go into the effects processor and you could you could you could detail whatever you want on here. I haven't actually played with it, so if I wanted to put a little bit more drive on it. 
to clean. Which is sick. So you can, and also it tells you the details of um, your outputs, your your amplification on there, how much drive you want, how much you want it wet or or or, or dry, which is really cool. Um, and you have that throughout different parameters, which is really cool. And I love that. Uh, so that's most of the guitars on here, which is really cool. It also has some basses that is really good. It has a brand new um, pick bass. Beautiful sound. Slap bass right here. Nice, nice. So, this is really cool. You have everything. Synthesized basses. Um, like one of them that I love is this one right here. It's actually like a loop. It's a sequence. The Wobble JS. Those are basically like, like for EMM. Uh, I'm sorry, um, EDF. I think that's what it's called. Um, <laughs> which is really neat, which is really, really cool. Okay, so now let me show you some more sounds and then we'll get to some more rhythms. So now we're in one of my also my favorite categories, which is called the ensemble mode. Now, say for instance, ensemble mode is basically, say you take a brass sound. I'm just going to take a regular brass sound on here and... You play one note, play two notes, three, four. They all sound the same. Well, this one has a super articulation, which has, which is good, and This is really neat. Okay, so they all sound the same. Now, let's go into the ensemble mode. With the ensemble mode, and I'm going to show you, you have different selections here. You have so many selections of ensembles right here. But I'm going to go to one of my favorite ones, which is called um, Lazy Blues. And it's going to show you, if I go to menu, the drop-down menu right over here, and go to uh, voice edit, it's going to show you basically what we have here. So um, I hope you can see it on the screen up there. But if I press one key, it's all four instruments. If I press two keys, three of the instruments are the same, but one of them is left behind. Three keys. It splits up two of the instruments and two of them are the same. Now four keys. Now what it did is it split up the instruments. So I have two trumpets, a trombone, and a and a saxophone. I think it's I think it's a bass saxophone, but I can actually look and actually see the instruments right here. It's a tenor sax actually. So check this out. It's super articulation. So it acts exactly the way how you would actually play it in an actual brass band. I haven't worked it out the kinks that much yet, but
Now it only works on four notes because you're you're playing four cymbal um, solo instruments. If I play more notes. I was not expecting that, but it actually followed it. <laughs> nice. Now you have different other ensemble modes on here. So if I wanted strings. For that, it is going to be basically. Let's go to right over here, and you have your um, you have your your first violins, your second violins, and it actually says first and second violins, which are totally two different violins. Um, you have your um, your orchestra viola and your cello. So not only it does brass and orchestra right over here, but uh, let's see. Let's go back a little bit, and let's see. Let's see if I let's see if I remember how it goes back. Um, sorry, I pressed the wrong one right here. Okay, right there. So let's go back, and you have a woodwind section. So uh, I'm just gonna press one of these right over here, which is um, let's see the flute block. Haunted flutes. You have, um, this is the unison ensemble. So, unison ensemble just plays everything in unison. Uh, movie score. I wanted to do something like a polka. Let's see. Mostly it's made for... And you have one called Just Violins. Also, you have um, you have the choir section. So, if I want to, this one's called Boys and Men. And it can show you exactly what you have. You have you have boys choir ooze. You have two of them. Actually, not, we actually have four of them, but. Does the interchanging for you, which is really cool. Uh, this one's called Mixed Choirs. And you have stuff like that. This one over here, this, this is called Showtime. <laughs> Different. <laughs> uh, this is called Jazz Trio. And what it means trio really actually really means trio because it seems like you cannot press any more than that. Uh, Vienna Dance. <laughs> That is the most realistic. They they introduced that on the Tyros 5, but they made it a lot better 
onto the um what's gonna say onto the genos. Okay, so we're still dealing with sounds, and now I want to show you the organ category, which is going to be really cool, uh, because I don't know if you actually have this on the PSR SX series, but the organ category, not only do you have regular organs, Those are super articulation organs, so you might have those on there. But what you probably um, don't have is, of course, you might have this one, but probably not the other ones, which I'm going to show you. This one over here is called organ flutes. So what it is is basically... And here am I thinking it's a chord right here because I pressed that. But over here you have a roadie speaker. Um... And it slows down and feeds, speeds up and slows down, which is really cool. But over here, if I press menu and go to voice, you actually have the draw bars. Pretty cool. Uh, of course, on the PSR SX series, you can. And I hope it's not too loud in the um, microphone over there. But of course, you got the drawbar section, which is really cool. Okay, so that is that's your virtual Hammond right there, which is the drawbars, and you have different other ones. Uh, organ clarinet. Upside down smile. But what you probably do not have is, say for instance over here, you have the Euro organs. And I don't know if you have that. I haven't read the specs on it yet. But the Euro organs... <laughs> And the display is different. It's a little bit different because now it kind of looks like the Hammond, but it's now it's a, it's the European style. Now in the Tyros Five, they had something called Organ World. Um, this actually has it built in as the presets. So, um, like, say, for instance, over here, this is the Concert 2D uh, classical organ. You have the Dapperson right over here. So you have different ones over here, and you have the theater organ. So if you wanted your full theater organ sound right over here, uh, let's see. Let's get into – I wanted to get into the real full theater organ right over here. These are theater organ pedals. Sounds so real. <laughs> Sounds so real. You have home organs right over here, so I'll get to that one later. Let's get back to the theater organ. Which is really good. Uh, let's see, number four and number five. So you have this one over here. Nice. Different kind. Those 
you, you you don't have that on the Oregon preset on the Oregon world uh, because all the presets are right there right in front of you. Uh, same thing with the concert organ right here. Here's a chapel organ. <laughs> something called a home organ on here. Let me see if I could get to that. Oh, over here, you have the 60s combos. So you, you, can, you can actually assign, this is disabled, but you can assign the Leslie to it. Which is really neat. Um, also you have the home organs right here. Now the home organs, you do have, um, you do have the option for the, the organ flute. And it's supposed to be basically like the lorry organs. Here, I'm just playing simple chords, so I don't know any songs at the top of my head. But you get the tabs right here. And you have all the little param parameters right there, which is really cool. Uh, so you have, you have a big selection of organs. Huge selection of organs right over here, which is really neat. Okay, so now let's go into the next sound category. Okay, so now we're at the next sound category, which is actually the choir. Now, from the Tyros 4, because the Tyros 4 introduced all the choir voices, you have that in the Genos. And I think you have that in the PSR SX series. So I was reading that you do have a couple styles, which I am going to play some of them very shortly. Um, but with some of the styles, you do have these voices on here. That's called the Boys Choir O's. And I make sure I have the right octave. And this is the Oz. <laughs> Plus these signature jazz scats that were introduced on a Tyros 4. <laughs> Um, so you have many different ones. This one over here is called Pop Vocals, which is really cool. <laughs> and this one over here is this is the Latin vocals. <laughs> Plus you have gospel vocals right here. Put your hands again. Oh, yeah. And I think you can hold it with your pedal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is really cool. Super articulation right there. Uh, this one is a, a vocal wows. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. This is really neat. Uh, vocal haze. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. That's so cool. Uh, so you have you have all the gospel stuff right here. You have different phrases right here. This is shooby doo ba. Shooby doo ba. And that's that. I don't know if you have that because that's a force. That's a force uh, sample cycle. Shooby doo ba, shooby doo ba, shooby doo ba two. Shooby doo ba, dooby dooby, dooby dooby, yabba dabba, 
Dewey Ubi. Dewey Ubi. And what should we do? What should we do? Or who are you? Who are you? So if you go, who are you? Who are you? Chubby doo bop. Um, it could act like this. Watch what we want to do. What we want. Sorry, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Which is really cool. And you have all of these. If you want them separate, like this, um, I'll give you an example. Um, over here, this is like the Boz vibrato. Has that vibrato. Da. Da. Do's. Do. You. You. And you got over here, this is called Boys Hey. <sighs> hey. I said Boys Ha, sorry. And this over here, Girls Ha. This is really cool. So you have all of these right there, and you can have a choir at the same time um, creating that. So this is one of the reasons why I decided the Genos because of the choir and 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 all of the scat sounds that are in there, which is really awesome. Okay, so this is the cool part right over here. You heard all of those sounds now. The Genos, you can load up your own sounds, your own expansions right here. You can pick whatever sounds you want through the um, expansion manager and just just play with it. Basically, whatever sounds you don't like, you can erase, and whatever sounds you want, you can keep on the instrument. The Genos itself has, a, help me if I'm correct, I hope I'm correct, 1.6 gigabytes of memory, which is, uh, it probably has 1.8 gigabytes of memory um of you know sample memory basically that you can um you can load up your sample sounds or even make your own sample drum kits which is really cool and the software is very easy to work so as you can see over here i have a palette of a lot of sounds so if i go into uh, my pianos right over here i have different other acoustic pianos so right over here this is another um this is another acoustic piano <laughs> Here's another one right here. So any kind of thing. Uh, this one says Busenoff for nine foot, which we don't, you know, the Busenoff is not on here. So I don't know if this is actually a Busenoff sound, but. And you have many different pianos right here. So say, for instance, um, here's the signature piano. This is the Roland E15 piano. It has some strings into it, which is really neat. Um, okay, so let me get out of the piano mode. And um, let's go into another category. Remember the old Yamaha PSS-51? You have... Same thing with piano, right here. But you have all the instruments. And the, if you know the PSS-51, you know the PSR-500. So say for instance, um, jazz guitar. Steel, steel guitar right here. To me, I think that's a, that's a really cool steel guitar, um, the orchestra hit. Now, these are sounds that are not in the machine. These are sounds that I absolutely just loaded up and everything like that. So, 
Um, if you wanted, say, for instance, give you another good example, all of the percussion sounds of the um, of the PSR. Uh, let's do this with gate, probably or the PSR five hundred. One, two, three, four. So you have all of that, and with the PSR fifty one, you have the added. You have all of that. <laughs> I think what happened is that I accidentally forgot to, um, it's gonna, the sound is gonna have to fade out, so I accidentally forgot to set the levels on that. So, I could keep on going on. Another grand piano that you have over here, this is a Steinway grand piano, and here's a Steinway bright right here. Here's a boulder stirring away. You also have, I keep on exiting, I'm sorry. But you also have something like, um, if I go into, this one is like, see, the Korg, well, let's see, let's see. Okay, right here. The Korg M1 piano and the Korg M1 drum sounds and stuff like that. Here's the Korg M1 drum sounds. And over here, here is basically um, a choir. That's like a synth choir. But in here, I haven't actually fully gone through all the voices on here this one's called an alien farm I think that's really cool um, over here you have something called general uh, acapella general MIDI so say, for instance, you have um, different voices. This one says bem. Bum. Bum. Dong. Whoa. A. So, Alcapella General MIDI is basically all little sounds. It's like human sounds. And if you go all the way over here, you have like human drum kits. So. And that's on. All those sounds that you have on there, that's really cool. And these are just expanded sounds. Um, not only that you have those, but. Um, I loaded it up, like, say, for instance, all of the Emu Proteus instruments on here. Um, I, I loaded up a lot of other stuff, like, say, for instance, uh, let's see, let's go into more extra sounds on here. Different tubular bells. Different steel drums. Which is really cool. Um, the The... The Alesis DM5 drum kit. So you have you have many um, many sounds galore on here. There's one sound that I wanted to show you, and I can't seem to find it because I don't remember what uh, voices. Okay, right over here, voices. Uh, just like you have the actual voices that were on here. This. O's. Uh, 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 vibrato. Uh, 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 this is O vibratos. Uh, 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 Different voices. 
And I think this over here. <clears throat> With the biggest request in all my Let the bass kick. Don't worry about it. Oh, come on, oh, come on. 31 seconds. T minus 10 seconds. 31. And this is really cool. You also have audio link on the uh, multi pads, which is really neat. I have to figure that out. Um, but those are all the expanded voices that you have on here. And you have banks, banks, banks. And banks. This one's called more sound effects. Um, here's like a Zithar Gliss. Which is really cool. Um, a Tamar Rockstar drum kit. But with this instrument, you have tons of drums. Prince drum kit. I don't hear anything about Prince about it, but it's okay. Um, also, you have stuff like, if I wanted like a D50 organ. Actually, I think that's not a D50 organ. But that's a D50 stack. Which is really cool. Um... This one over here is called Credits. Another fine release brought to you by SEC. Oh, that's neat. Another fine release brought to you by SEC. So you have tons and tons of room for expansions. And I have so much things right over here for different expansions, which is the planet Earth. I have um, Dance Factory. So in Dance Factory... Um, Here's a JP, um, JP4 Ultra Wash. The CZ Droid. Which is really neat. Um, and it's, it's, it's really cool. Monster Hit. I don't even know what that is. Nice. So that is basically how much sounds you can actually load up to this, um, which is really, really nice. So the main, main reason why I got the Genos was because of the styles. All of these styles on here, learning from the Tyros 4 that one of my friends actually owns, and I was going through it, I absolutely love the styles. So the Genos, of course, is double the power or triple the power or even quadruple the power of the Tyros 4 and my old S950 that give you an example. If I go to the jazz category and here is a big, big band crooner. Listen to this right over here. <laughs> Now, of course, you could play with it with piano. But right over here, you have the OTS link. So with the OTS link, if I press A, go to B. With the Revo drums, it sounds like the band is actually right there with you. Um, so I'm going to jump categories here. Uh, let's go to the R&B category. And one of the R&B categories that I absolutely love is right over here, which is the sh Soul Shuffle. 
and hear how it sounds. styles i could just listen to the styles alone i usually don't like to play with the styles that much because i play just regular piano but the styles give me such an idea to create um other styles on here so say for instance um if we go to like the oldies category and there's one on here called the 50s rock and roll and on here it sounds like this <laughs> The best part about it is that over here, this is your mixer, so not only that you can mix your right, your songs, and your style, but you can also mix your chords, so if I wanted to turn up those vocals a little bit louder. Or just solo up. It's that easy. Just as simple as that. Not only that the OTS link um, sets up your whole parameters right over here, and over here, which is the one touch setting, but also the OTS link sets up your multi pads. Which is really good. So, say for instance, uh, let's go into um, let's go into a funk rhythm, which I wanted to actually do. Okay, so here's a jazz funk right rhythm right here, and so I just press that. <laughs> It changes instantly, which I love. I don't even have to think about the instrument. are your your um, multi pads as I said you can assign them to whatever basically that you want on here which is really neat um, these buttons they they have the LEDs on the bottom of them uh, you have an option if you want to make them brighter to make them dimmer so if I were to turn off the lights you will see all the buttons which is really neat um, even with the LCD screen you can make it brighter dimmer um, which is really cool on both LCD screens which is really neat Okay, so let's jump into another category. So say, for instance, if I go to like classical and this one over here, this is called Prom March. So I'm curious to see how that sounds. So let's try it in E flat. <laughs> me pressing the wrong chord, but... Yamaha always 
always had their way of creating rhythms and their sounds. One thing I love, go into the movie category, and I love this right over here, which is the an the animation fascin fascination. Uh, uh, sorry, animation fantasy. <laughs> I'm not seeing it right. Okay, and also then, so you have the three intros right over here. It sounds like a Disney movie. Ending. anything i just wanted you to listen to that you have that you have you have everything on here um also let's see you go into the retro pop area now the retro pop you have like really iconic songs like say for instance give you a good example over here this is called um 80s funk icon and you might know this one which is really neat That's just a breakdown. So if I go into something like number C. Keep on going. That is sick. That is sick. Okay, how about this one? This one's called Pop Legend. So you got the Prince. Here's your Michael Jackson, which is good. Watch. Variation A. Very simple. Variation B gets a little bit more pumping. C. Now, also on, on the dashboard, like say for us on the main menu, it tells you how many measures is actually the, um, the style. It tells you what tempo right over here. So I can just type that in, and there's tempo right there, which is really cool. And you also have this on the SX900, which is neat. And this is your breakdown, which is cool. Now, as you see, once I press these, they all change. So cool. So let's go to a dance style. I want to show you something with the dance style right over here. Uh, let me put all these up. And so let's pick, um, I'm just going to pick something like a hard trance. I don't, I haven't really gone into the dance styles that much. But the hard trance, let's give an intro. Let's give like a. I go into the knobs. And I can I can edit the style. Which is 
which is sick. And I can edit the rhythm. So let's go to Variation D. I, ha I have to get used to that. <laughs> right? So over here, I got the different time signatures, so I could, with the multi-pads, I got to figure out how to do that. Um, just go into the different time signatures. And over here, this is the style reverb. And then end it. Very, very sick. Uh, remember those human beatbox? This one over here is called uh, Rock Your Beatbox. So it goes like this. So you have that. Here's your ending. That's really cool. This is your street the box. <laughs> Maybe if you want to do an imitation of Thriller, which is which is really cool, you could probably use that laugh. Um, this is nice. I love it. I love it. The Latin beats. Uh, let's go into. Uh, let's see. I want to go into something like the jazz samba right here. <laughs> If I go into the oldies, there's a rhythm on here. It's called uh, basically uh, Sing Along Dance Band. Listen to the ukulele on this part right over here, which is really cool. So this is my style of music. That is just really, really sick. Uh, also, you have the ukulele on this one right here. You can actually hear it. So, go to the ukulele. And my mixer's right over here, so you can tell me which one of the ukulele was the phrase. I muted everything else, <laughs> which is really neat.
drums are so real on it, which is really neat. Uh, okay, uh, let's get into some uh, like some R and B stuff. So with with the R and B stuff, here is something called um, Lovely Shuffle, which is basically like a Stevie Wonder. Uh, I'm, I wonder how it sounds with the minor chord. Someone do. So the major chord, if I would do. So it has all of that stuff. If you want to go rockish, like say for instance, um, give you a good rock that it was really nice. Here's a US shuffle, which is really cool. You all know what song that is. So whoever did these rhythms, they did took a lot of time. That's called eighties rock anthem. So here's the intro. That is cool. Okay, so here's a stadium rock. I didn't even know it did that. Uh, okay, and one of my favorites, going back to the R&B category, is like the gospel. So I demonstrated this in another video. Listen to all the vocals in this gospel. Here you go. Let's put it in B flat. <laughs> When I heard that, I had to buy. It was I heard that on the Tyros Four first, and I wanted it so badly. Then, when I knew I was getting the Genos, I was like, "Yay! It's pretty good." Cool. Actually, I didn't know what I was getting the Genos. I'll tell you the story about that. I what uh, I did pick the Genos, but I didn't know I was getting it for Christmas. So I'll tell you the story about that. Um, which is um, actually, you can look at the video. There's a video of me opening up the um, the package. Um, when I was opening up this. So instead of me telling you the story, you can actually watch the link. Um, this, this was a gift from my late mother, Hazel Nicholson, who just passed away last year. Her anniversary is coming up, which is uh, August 13th. But um, every time I play this, I think of my mother. So this is, this is her late gift, which is really cool. Okay, so now um, let's go to the classical. And the classical one... I'm not playing anything. I'm just letting you guys hear the styles. The classical one over here, here is the organ hymn.
So that's a long intro, which is pretty cool. Okay, if you wanted Christmas styles, like say for instance, let's do a Christmas ballad, see how that sounds. <laughs> just makes your dreams come true with these styles on here and the voices of course the voices have to help the styles there's some keyboards that i uh, that i played a range of keyboards and i'm not going to name them that i played that the styles were great but the voices sucked so <laughs> or other way around the voices were great and the styles sucked so they all have to match in together um if we go to jazz um let me show you this right over here i'm going to go to Manhattan Swing. And this right over here. Very nice. So you have you have all of those. Getting back to the dance category, if you want some EDM. You have everything. Go back to the movie category. If I want a blockbuster TV. I have some vocals in there that go, hey, hey. It's somewhere in here that I can sync up to that, which is really neat. Um, so your whole movie category, you got everything. Now, let me show you something. You hear this choral, this, uh, choral soundtrack right here, which is really neat. That is sick. Now, I'm going to go to another category right over here, which is uh, country. And here, right over here, this is called the acoustic bluegrass. prefer not to play anything because I want to go through these styles real quickly, which is really cool. Um, okay, over here, this is called the Country Rock. Just like if you're in Nashville, wow, the music city. 
Um, okay, and also then you have something like over here. This is called Country Blues. Okay, that is all of the pre-program styles. Now I'm going to show you some stuff in the user styles, which you could download off a line and also put into your Genos or your PSR SX 900, 700, or 300. Okay, so you heard most of the uh, pre-program styles that are on the Genos. That is actually factory, um, factory installed onto the Genos, which is really neat. So now, what if you wanted to play a style from another keyboard, which is really cool? Or, you know, it could be a past Yamaha that is discontinued or another keyboard company that is an arranger keyboard. So let me show you here, which I like. I have a USB right over here. I have a USB in the back, and I have a USB on the bottom because it takes three USBs. Plus, on top of that, I got 56 gig of uh, hard drive space basically in there. It doesn't take hard drives. It's like basically like... um like a virtual memory that's inside of here, which is really cool. So I go into the style section, I go into user, and from the user, um, over here, if you're in the expansions, that's when you're loading up the expansion packs and all the expansion styles that are in there. I don't use the expansions for the styles at all. I only use it for the sounds that I demonstrate earlier, uh, for like the sound fonts that I actually put inside there. So... I have uh, USB 3, USB 2, and USB 1, which is really neat. So say, for instance, if I wanted to, um, let's see, go into USB 2, I press all styles. And with the all styles right over here, I have the different keyboards right over here. And so if I wanted to load something like from a very, very old past Yamaha, Actually, it's in USB 1. <laughs> so from an old past Yamaha, like the PSR 740, um, I can go into R&B, and let's go into Rock and Roll 2. And check this out. This is a Rock and Roll 2 from the PSR 740. The whole keyboard changes and turns into a PSR 740. All the instruments from the PSR 740 is virtually inside there because of the XG module that it has inside of it built into it. So that's that's a past Yamaha keyboard, and these are all the categories that you see right there. So if I wanted something um, like, say, for instance, um, the jazz category, and I wanted a big band, let's try that out. <laughs> I tell you this, a PSR 740 was a powerful keyboard, just like I used to have a PSR um, a 630, which is, which is also another powerful keyboard. So, okay, so I go up, and I have more keyboards right here. I got the PSR 8000, the 9000. Um, I have the Tyros, all different Tyros lines. I even got the PSR S975. Uh, so if I go into the Tyros 5, there's some rhythms on a Tyros 5 that is not on Genos. So, give you an example of one of those rhythms. 
if I go to, um, let me go to movie and sound right over here. And this one called the, um, a choir symphony, actually, which is right over here, choral symphony. And say, for instance, if I'm doing that. And I tell you this, when I was looking at the bars on here, this style, that one section is 32 measures long. So it keeps on going, but I'm going to end it. So if you have the Genos or if you have the PSR S975, you're going to want to download the all the Tyrosses because they're all different in, in sounds. Uh, so give you an example. If I wanted to go back and if I wanted to play, uh, let's see, something, the Jazz Funk. So the Jazz Funk, I'm going to play the Tyros. Um, this is the Tyros 5, so here it is from the beginning. Alright, from the Tyros 5, let's go to the Tyros 2. And it's going to sound a lot different. The same rhythm. The jazz funk. And from the Tyros 2, let's go into the Tyros 1. So the Tyros 1, same rhythm, jazz funk. As you can see, the drums, the instrumentation changes, and the rhythm changes a little bit. So, let's go to the Genos. And the jazz funk for the Genos. is totally different from the previous models. And that's with all the styles. So, as, as I'm saying, you want to download all the way from the Tyros 1 to the Tyros. Tyros 5. Okay, so go back to the user. And what if I wanted to download a different keyboard? So I don't want a Yamaha keyboard. I want something, and this is something you have to give me a little time to find because I think I put it um, on a different bank on here, which is... Um, kind of w w well known for me to lose a, to lose a, actually a style on here but if you wanted to find oh here we go all styles right there if you wanted to use a different keyboard so let's go to techniques so the techniques 7000 in the techniques 7000 let's go to latin so from there let's go to rumba That's a that's a Technique seven KN seven thousand rumba. Here's a tango. So there you go. You got the the fillings. You have all of the steps for there, even the ending.
so that's techniques. What if, um, okay, let's go back. Um, what if I wanted Korg? So I got the Korg, Korg PA series right there. And over here it says Korg to Yamaha, and over here it says regular Korg style. So I want to go into, uh, let's see, I want to go into their jazz style right over here. And I want to pick like big band one. Let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> So it reads it. The so that's that's jazz one. What I wanted was basically jazz three. And it's weird, it doesn't sound like a Genos now, it sounds like a Korg. <laughs> because of all the, you know, it's using all the Genos sounds, but it sounds like a Korg, which is really cool. So I just want to try another one. Let's go to Latin and let's go to uh let's go to Mambo, see what happens. <laughs> So I don't know what happened there, but the intro was good. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, so that's the core keyboard right over there. What if I want to go to Roland? I got the Roland G1000 styles. So let's go to uh, let's see what the um, let's see what the boss the blues sounds like right over here. <laughs> That's rolling for you. That's rolling. Some of the sounds, you, some of the styles, and some of the sounds you have to alternate um, on here just to make it sound perfect. You know, I'm trying to look for. Um, let's see. Okay, let's try this. Let's try the uh, the swing country right over here. These are definitely rolling styles. So if I press a seventh, it should follow the same thing. Almost. Those are rolling styles, all right, on a Yamaha keyboard. What's this really cool? Another category is the songs. You have many songs. Use the songs. You have the demo, pre-programmed demo that's on here. But on the PSR tutorial site, I uploaded all of the old PSR demos. So say for instance, as you can see on the screen, it says PSR 510. So once I press the demo button, or it says once I press start button right here, it's going to play the, the old demo from the PSR 510.
you have you can reminisce. I I used to have the PSR five ten when I was a kid, uh, walking around in junior high school, uh, with it. I had a five hundred and a five ten, um, and and I miss it. So this takes me back to my yesteryears. But I got other keyboard demos on here, which is really cool. So say for instance, if I wanted to demo of the uh, the PSR seven thirty, um, this will be really cool. Here's the accordion demo right here, which is really neat. And you got everything, Bossa Nova. It's, it's a lot to reminisce. So say, for instance, um, also what I loaded up was even more styles. So not only just I loaded up the demos of the keyboards, but I also loaded up more styles on here. So this is stuff you could find on PSR Tutorials, which is really good. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of like endorsing this site because they're so cool. Um, but if I go to Styles, and let's go back over here to um it says new geno styles right over here the ps i mean the techniques kn 2000 internal styles so if i go into like a 16 beat i don't know which one this is but <laughs> these other user styles too which is really cool hey everybody thank you so much for watching this video please do me a favor please click like subscribe follow me on everything go to my Facebook page if you can join me as a friend if not go to my Facebook fan page and join me as a friend there click like over there thank you so much if you want to know any more videos on my page click the notification bell thank you so much have a great day